Okay, so this drawing is a strip foundation. So looking at our 3D model here, give us a realistic view of it. So we have our strip foundation down here. So the overall width of it is three times the width of our wall. Okay, so it's a 350 mil wall. So the overall width of this is going to be 105 off. Okay, and the width of our wall is also equal to the depth of our strip. Okay, which is going to be 350. So the wall sits in the center of the strip foundation and that consists of 100 mil outer leaf, 150 mil cavity and 100 mil inner leaf. Okay, so as we build up our blocks, uh, our blocks height are 215 and then we allow for a better mortar as well. So let on up the block work. Okay, so best way to go then is on our fourth block up, we put in our DPC. Okay, a damp proof course and then we start working our way down so from our dpc our subfloor sits in here and it's 150 mil of a subfloor in under the subfloor is 100 mil insulation in under the insulation is your radon barrier okay and then under that is your binding the binding is like sand that sits on top of the hardcore to even it out okay so they allow 40 mil for that and then two layers of 150 mil hardcore fill okay and then on our outer leaf um we just put in infill here and inner cavity just below our red on barrier we're putting in a concrete infill to give it stability on the base to carry the dead loads okay hope in the interior wall you have your 100 mil insulation okay so then you're going to have a 50 mil cavity between the outer leaf and the insulation here then for finished detail on top of our hardcore floor, you're going to have your tongue and groove flooring, um, your in, in, internal render, internal plaster, and your skirting board. Okay, um, in our foundation we have our rebar that sits about 75 mil up from the base of the foundation. So we'll get cracking on that. Okay, so I'm going to do my foundation first of all. One or five up. Okay. Three fifty high. Okay, so it's a scale as one is to ten the drawing is. Okay, um Okay, so break it down to third. My, my 350 water is going to sit in the middle, so I come in 350. Okay, outer leaf is 100 mil, 150 mil cavity, and then the inside leaf is 100 mil. Okay, let them on up there. So the height of the block is 215. Like that. And we want to allow a 10 mil bed of mortar. Okay. And scale 1 to 10 is 1 millimeter. Okay, so about 215 again. The bed of mortar. 215. So you want to come up. Um, six or seven blocks to show the full detail. Okay, so now I've been marked off. Marker across my inner leaf and my outer leaf. Okay. Inner leaf, outer leaf.
Nee, so das Blatt weg. Okay. Das ist gut. Ich freue mich mit Hair. Ich bin bald nicht krass. Okay. Dann haben wir zum Rebar in der Mitte. Komm auf 75 mit. Okay. Dann haben wir zum Symbol von Stegen hier in der Mitte. Okay. Dann haben wir eine Command für Stegen von den. Just to stay to reinforce the concrete. Right. So, um, I have my outer leaf and my inside leaf. Okay. So, the best way to approach you now is always remember that your DPM or your DPC, damp proof course, goes on the fourth block. Okay, so I'm going to put that in in blue. There to represent the DPC. Okay, so I'm going to work back the way from that on the inner leaf here. I'm going to put on my subfloor. So it's a 150 mil subfloor. Okay. Another 50 mil subfloor, 100 mil insulation. Okay. 40 mil binding. Okay. And then Stop cold bridging here, we're going to put in our 30 mil insulation between the inside leaf and the hair cord. We're going to hold insulation here. Okay, so that's rigid insulation. Then we're going to put in the center of that. Okay, so we have our hard core here. So it means for Okay, so that's our sub floor there. Continuation symbol. Okay, so I have my subfloor. Then under that, I have 100 mil region insulation. Okay, expand insulation. Okay, then we're looking at our 40 mil blinding. Just fine sand, it sits on top of the hair that. Okay, so the difference between the, the subfloor, okay, which is concrete, and this is just sand. Okay, so then we have our radon barrier. Okay, so on the outside block, it starts at three blocks high one, two, three. Okay, it comes across the cavity, and the black layer does is lays two thirds of a block here. Okay, so we put up 150 mil, right? And it comes across. Black here, so the black layer comes along, the 150 mil black, and then a 65 mil black on top of it, or brick on top of it. 
bringing up this end height okay so it comes down on the inside and just below our king span okay so it sits on top for a binding which gives it a nice flat surface okay if you did set it straight on your hardcore obviously we're going to get tears and rips in it okay so then we go two layers of hardcore fill 150 mil and 150 mil Concrete symbols down here on the, the strip. Okay, and just below our right hand barrier, we're going to have a concrete infill in here. Okay, that's to tie all this together. Okay, to tie the inner leaf and outer leaf together to give it a bit more stability. That's the, the whole dead load of the roof, everything is transferred down to the foundation at this level here. Okay, so that's your concrete infill. Um, just below the, the red on barrier out here, that's where the backfill comes in. Backfill of clay, then obviously the good hardcore or fill for footpath after. Okay, so on top of our subfloor, then we're going to have some screed. Okay, we're going to put in um, if I can remember the screed, we put in 60 mil screed. Okay. And then on top of that, um yeah, that's 65 mil screed, yeah? 65 mil screed. Okay. And sitting on top of that, we're going to have our tongue and groove thrown. Okay? 25 mil tongue and groove. Okay, I'm going to put in 100 mil boards. I'm just going to leave a gap at the wall there. show the tongue groove the 100 mil intervals yeah. so we've got our internal render here It's on the top of the floor like so. Okay, so we have to put our insulation, a rigid insulation, 100 mil insulation, onto our inner leaf here. So 
in the symbol of original insulation, which is basically 45 cross hatched. 45 degrees. Yeah, to keep in an insulation, then you had your wall ties. Yeah, so we're going to have eighteen mil. External window. So, and that is a strip foundation finished. Okay, so you have your strip 1050 by 350, come in 350, 100 mil, 150 mil, 100 mil. Okay, always remember your DPC goes for on your fourth black cup. Okay. It's always helpful to start with that and work back down with your 150 mil subfloor, 100 mil insulation, 40 mil binding, binding and work back from there. Okay, DPM always comes in and uh, entry level a third block on the outer leaf. Comes across, comes up 150 mil. Okay, cuts across the top of this block. It's 150 mil block. And comes down below our original insulation here, sitting on top of the binding. So then you put in your uh, your table of contents here and label it up. Okay, always helpful to do it in sketch here first for yourself, so you can refer that you're not missing any details. That's the strip foundation.